What's up folks, it is December 5th and for Dragon Ball Fighters that means that the Christmas capsules are now live for you to buy at the Z Shop, but also Tournament Mode is here too. For those of you that do not know what Tournament Mode is about, it's a special online mode that's brand new to the game, which has special rules and forces you to use certain characters depending on the theme of the match. Now when you join the tournament, first is preliminaries, which are held in a special arena. When you win a match in the prelims, you're rewarded with a star. Players with the most stars when time runs out advance to the finals. The finals are handled in a standard tournament format, but to advance to the finals you have to still be in the lobby, so if you lose your connection, you can't advance, okay? You just pretty much get disconnected, and that's it. Tournaments can't be held if there are less than 12 participants, okay? That's also important. They have to have at least 12 people in the tournament for it actually to start. Next, you can pick the actual tournament you want to play in, and it seems like at least for now, there's only going to be one tournament type per day. They're probably going to change that up a little later on as far as having different tournament types throughout the day, but this one, at least for today, is called The Real Enemy. Only villain characters can be used. That is it. Only villain characters, nobody else. That's the one for today called The Real Enemy. And as you see right there, 24 hours later, the next day, our next tournament type is going to be Tournament of Power. Only characters that have participated in the Tournament of Power can be used. Once again, another hint is towards some, uh, some Season 2 Tournament Power related content. They keep doing it. They keep doing this more hints and hints. I'm definitely interested to see all the different tournament types they're going to bring out, like see how creative they're going to get with them. It could be fun. This is a nice little exciting addition to the game. But two days from now, the next tournament type is going to be Earth's Mightiest. Only characters born and raised on Earth. That one's kind of interesting, because if you think about it, Goten and Trunks both born and raised on Earth. So that means you can use Gotenks, right? Then you got Yamcha, Tien, uh, Trunks. Adult Gohan, born and raised on Earth, so I don't know if Half-Blood is going to count or whatever, but yeah, that could be interesting as far as what characters you can use and who you can. So yeah, this could be pretty dope, but then after you actually pick the tournament you want to join in, then you get an opportunity to pick your actual characters. And as you see, even though it starts off Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, now when you actually pick your characters, you only have villains, because again, the one today is called The Real Enemy. Only villain characters can be used, so that's what happens when you actually go in to pick your character, pick your team, then after that, you get sent to the special tournament lobby which there's nothing in. As you see, the only thing you can do is have access to the actual tournament matches and ring matches. There's no training mode, anything like that. I was running around seeing if there's anything else you can do, and you can't. As you see right there, there's no training mode section. There's nothing in this little tournament lobby, but you can start up some ring matches to warm up with the other players in the lobby waiting for the tournament to start. Now, as for the tournament starting, you're going to get eight minutes from the time you get in the lobby before the tournament tries to activate. And like I said earlier, if you don't have at least 12 people in there before the time runs out, the tournament will get canceled. So that's what happened to me. I tried, but it got canceled. Later on in the day, there's probably going to be a lot more people online to play. A lot of people don't even know the tournament mode is live yet. So it should be fun, though. I'm excited to try it out. As for this video, that is going to be it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. There's always much more content on the way, and I'll see y'all later.